I like the structural path we're on here. As long as we help Ukraine with the weapons they need and the economic support, they will fight to the last person. Later. And folks, I am from South Carolina. He is going to win South Carolina. This is the pathway to the presidency. God bless you all. God bless President Trump. God bless America. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got to talk about old Lindsey Graham, who, in my opinion, is probably the most fascinating politician in Congress. And the reason why is because Lindsey Graham, in my opinion, is the most obvious <laughs> corrupt politician that's just playing the game, okay? It is very obvious to see what Lindsey Graham is about, okay? He's a prototypical swamp politician, okay? He's just playing the game, okay? And um, Lindsey Graham, because he's just playing the game, uh, has gotten himself in some hot water with the conservative base because of his outright support for continuing uh, this war between Ukraine and Russia. 25, we're going to cap spending at a level that we cannot expand the Navy. And in the same period of time, China's going to go from 310 ships over a 10-year period to 440. Less money for the Marines, less money for the Army, less ships for the Navy at a time of great conflict. Not a penny in this bill to help Ukraine defeat Putin. They're going on the offensive as I speak, and we need to send a clear message to Putin that when it comes to your invasion of Ukraine, we're going to support the Ukrainians to ensure your loss. If we don't do that, then we're going to snatch defeat out of the jaws of victory. Senator Cotton is... But we're here to talk about something nobody else seems to want to talk about. I applaud President Biden for putting on the table that the threat of Putin using a nuclear weapon in Ukraine is real. And our message is to those around Putin that if you do this, if you follow his order, if he ever gives it, you can expect a massive response from NATO and you will be at war with NATO. I can't believe that NATO nations would allow their countries to be irradiated by a nuclear attack emanating in Ukraine. Okay, I think that most of conservatives want to see peace. Okay, we want to see a peace agreement. We uh, don't want to continue to see our tax dollars fund this war. However, uh, Lindsey Graham, who has always been on the pro-war train, right, uh, has said a whole lot of controversial things lately uh, and has basically tried to push us as close as possible to nuclear war with Russia, again, because he's a neocon warmonger, and patriots in his own state, South Carolina, at a Trump rally showed Lindsey Graham that we do not approve of him trying to drag this country into World War III, him trying to have American lives be lost for another pointless war, him trying to send our tax dollars to Ukraine, they showed him in the most base way possible that this is not acceptable. Take a look. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome United States Senator Lindsey Graham. Welcome to Pickens. Thank y'all for coming. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank y'all. <laughs> Thank you all for coming. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks a bunch. Well, well, you want to find something in common? <laughs> All right. Thank y'all. 
Thank you all very much. Welcome to Pickens County. A little bit about this county. Just calm down for a second. I think you'll like this. Pickens County has more Medal of Honor winners per capita than any place in the nation. I was born in this county. I live 15 miles down the road. And folks, I am from South Carolina. He is going to win South Carolina. This is the pathway to the presidency. God bless you all. God bless President Trump. God bless America. Yeah, so after Lindsey Graham got booed off stage, um, Trump actually started roasting Lindsey Graham, like pointing him out, right, after he got uh, booed off stage and started roasting him to his face. Dating twice this week as an example that Russia is losing the war to Iraq. Twice. Not, you know, you can make mistakes on occasion. Even Lindsey down here, Senator Lindsey Graham. We love Senator Graham. We're gonna act, we're gonna love him. We're gonna love him. I know, it's half and half, but when I need some of those liberal votes, he's always there to help me get them, okay? We got some pretty liberal people, but he's good. He's good. We know the good ones, we know the bad ones too. We got some real bad ones. But even he makes mistakes on occasion. But you can't make a mistake by calling Ukraine Iraq. And then you certainly can't do it a second time because there's something wrong. Yeah, so you guys know what I love about that video, right, that interaction? Trump clearly knows that the crowd doesn't like Lindsey Graham, right? He knows the reason why the crowd doesn't like Lindsey Graham. But he tries to save Lindsey Graham, right? He says, you know, we're going to love him. We're going to love Lindsey Graham. And the crowd is like... Boo! Right again, it just goes to show that uh, Trump supporters or America First conservatives are not a cult. Right, we're not a cult. Okay, where we go along with everything that Trump says just because he says it. Now, a lot of people are probably curious about why in the world is Trump supporting Lindsey Graham or whatever. Well, it's the same reason why Trump is supporting Kevin McCarthy. It's because Trump needs to make less enemies. Right, he is in a civil war okay with the gop in the establishment okay so you know um he has to have as many foot soldiers as he can even though these foot soldiers ultimately <laughs> right are trying to work to undermine him for example like that time recently where kevin mccarthy said the quiet part out loud that <laughs> the establishment people like him actually really think about trump and trump being the gop nominee to go up against biden and then had to turn around and eat his words because he knows how badly he just stepped in it with trump for saying that out loud take a look but do you think when he could win an election could he win an election and, can he and win that election yeah he can you think he can you the, the question is is he the strongest to win the election i don't know that answer but can somebody can anybody beat biden yeah anybody can beat biden can biden beat other people yes biden can beat him it's on any given but, day yeah, so Kevin McCarthy had to backtrack on that, obviously. But um, I'm just saying, um, you know, I think Trump is in a very interesting position having to be in the same bed with these guys because, uh, yeah, I mean, he's he's trying to win, right? So you got to align yourself with some people that, you know, hey, they're not very popular with the base, okay? Kevin McCarthy, Lindsey Graham being two of these people. Um, and they're telling you, the base is telling you, look, we, we don't like these people, right? We don't accept the old school neocon conservatives that want to drag this country into war, okay, and to spend an unlimited amount of our, of our tax dollars on these wars, uh, we want to focus more on us, right? We want to put America first. And people like Lindsey Graham, unfortunately, we have Republicans like him in the Republican Party that have been putting America last, okay? He's been putting Ukraine first because he has a personal beef with putin okay i mean it seems personal to me i mean lindsey graham went on television and basically called for the guy to be assassinated so i mean again i'm not sure exactly what his issue is with putin maybe he's mad because putin doesn't you know maybe putin's not interested <laughs> who knows i mean there are questions about lindsey graham and you know what is he what is he into behind closed doors i'm not sure i'm just saying <laughs> i've heard people question it i'm just saying the base is showing 
politicians, Republicans like Lindsey Graham, that their positions are unacceptable, right? Like we don't accept your positions. We don't accept what you are fighting for because you're not fighting for us, okay? Or you're fighting for us to go and die in a war. People don't want to have American blood be spilled over this war. We're tired of this. We're done, we're done with this, okay? We're done with the old school Republican Party. This is a new conservative base, okay? It's not the same. And politicians like Lindsey Graham, he's stuck in the Bush era, right? He's stuck in the Bush era, okay? He's a he's a Bush politician. That's what he is. And th I'm just being honest with you. That, that wing of the Republican Party, again, if you want to appeal to conservatives, um, that wing of the Republican Party uh, has to be replaced, right? We got to usher these guys out, okay? These guys have to be voted out uh, in favor of politicians who are going to get on board with an America- first populist agenda okay that is what we want right that is what we want okay but hey um again it's just <laughs> it's just hilarious to see lindsey graham get booed like that because he definitely deserves it let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment and subscribe most importantly share a black conservative perspective peace